Okay, so we're just on 28.490, and I'll just turn that down a bit. We get a little bit of static and rubbish, some sort of internal noise at the moment going on. Have a look at that. It just started up, actually, just when I wanted to do a video. I thought, righto. But the purpose of the video was to show you the Tokyo High Power uh, Solid State Linear Amplifier HL 1.5 KFX. And um, I've got this set up on two antennas. Um, I've got six meters on uh, A there, and uh, on B I have... Uh, uh, vertical uh, HF vertical and we have been able to um, very easily set up um, and you'll notice a couple of things that happen um, on the uh, keep the attention on the AB switch and the, the band switching there I, thought I go to 50 megs look at that beautiful just um, DB9 cable between the TS990 and the Tokyo high power and um, of course it's switched over to 50 megs and then when I go back to 28 megs. I'll just put that right on there. And it's actually selected the antenna. It's changed uh, from the 6 meter beam back to the um, HF vertical. So the um, there is another way you can do this. Of course you can go through manually and change your bands like so and it will remember the last antenna that you used on the on the band. Um, if you haven't used one on it yet, like I haven't here, uh, it's just going to A. Now the moment I change that to B um, it'll then remember when I come back down uh, to go to B and see how it's remembering A, B, etc, etc. So quite good on the uh, manual side too, but very good on the, obviously the, um, uh, when I just flick over to uh, 50 megs, bang, the amp's ready to go. Don't have to touch a thing. Uh, a little bit like the Acom, I suppose, uh, 2000 on HF bands, um, but uh, not bad. Um, you can also do, uh, they have a, a lead supplied for the Yasu and also for the ICOM, so you can just select that from the front of the unit there, which is, is quite ni uh, nice. And um, of course, we'll leave it in the Kenwood uh, position for what we're doing on 28490 at the moment. And there was, uh, I did a video just before, but we, we made a couple of mistakes that video, and I had a great contact with VK4 Fox X ray Delta X ray. Um, good signal is coming in and uh, unfortunately I had to delete the video just uh, we had a couple of things incorrect and uh, I thought ah oh, do it again <laughs> anyway so what have we got in lights um, on air light of course um, operate here for your light uh, power is just power on off etc etc um, overdrive uh, overheating over voltage fuse uh, PR which is reflected power so your meter will actually give you forward output PF for forward PR for reverse You'll actually see uh, it swing quite a bit sometimes actually on the reverse because they don't actually use the 1K scale for that. They use the scale below, which is the 100-watt um, scale that's just below there. So it's a little bit deceiving. You know, if you see it moving up to what you think is 100 watts, well, no, it's actually 5 or 10 watts. So um, it's <laughs> just tricks for, tricks for new players. Uh, so it's the 50-volt output, obviously the current draw of the 50-volt um, uh, stage when it's actually transmitting, uh, i.e. when I transmit like 1, 2, 3, like so. So... Um, hang on, just on here there, VK3 Charlie Mike just testing for a tick, sorry, uh, thought I'd better do that, um, because we do have an antenna connected. So, um, let's just have a little look, um, I've got, uh, 35 watts of power, but I have got the ALC cut back a fair bit on the back of the amplifier too, there is an adjustment on the back, so be aware when you're setting one up, I'll just show you, not a great deal of light behind here, but... This little control here I've got turned right down so if you turn that ALC up you'll actually find that um, you will get a lot more power out of that amplifier but you've got to be a bit careful with your ALC as well I'll tell you why in a tick. So for today's example um, especially being on air uh, a couple of things we want to do is um, not break the law so we want to try and keep it to 400 watts so um, I've um, uh, got the capability through an antenna switch here to have done my setup on um, uh, on um, dummy load so I can actually get a fair idea of you know where I am with it with an external meter as well which is good uh, and then I can say to myself okay on air but believe me on air sometimes your meter can uh, sometimes be you know still uh, a little bit interesting what, what it shows you all right let's have a look let's uh, punch the microphone down one two three four five hello one two so we're probably doing 300 watts there VK3 Charlie Mike about 300 watts just just peaking 
as you can see, it'll, it'll do that little swing up. Now, when we did that on dummy load, uh, that was um, sort of showing about 380 watts. So the meter on here, maybe not as accurate. Okay, so let's have a look. This is VK3 Charlie Mike, just videoing on 28490. Uh, just doing a redo, unfortunately, of the, um, uh, of the uh, <laughs> HL 1.5 KFX. Wondering if there's any uh, East Coast stations still on. Uh, there was a bit of skip running before, but you never know. 28490, very unpredictable. VK3 Charlie Mike listening on 28490. You never know. It's not looking good, is it? <laughs> it's not looking good. It was brilliant before. Oh, jeez. Well, you know, Murphy's Law. Uh, let's have a look. VK3, Charlie Mike, just calling CQ on 28490. Uh, testing a Tokyo High Power 1.5 KFX. Uh, pushing about 35 watts in it to get about uh, 350 watts, I'd say. 3 to 350. Uh, VK3, Charlie Mike, just listening. Oh, I thought I heard someone in the background then. And as you know, guys, 10 metres can be a bit like that. A bit hit and miss. I'll just wait a minute and see how we go. Well, oh, somebody there. Just uh, just go again with that. Uh, just try again. Uh, Victor Kilo 2 something, Juliet Mike, I think. Um, I think I've got Victor Kilo 2 something, Juliet Mike. Sorry, the, it's, I've got a bit of noise here, and it's not your fault. It's just this bit of noise come up at this location, and I've got to work out what my young son's probably plugged in in the room next door. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, getting a bit of you there. Go ahead. Got it that time, VK4, Yankee, Juliet, Mike. Sorry about that, uh, VK4, Yankee, Juliet, Mike. Okay. Signal came up a little bit then, uh, so uh, no, good stuff. Uh, just doing a video on a HL 1.5 KFX amplifier, and just going by the meter at the moment, hello, one, two, hello. Yeah, we're probably doing, you know, um, this meter's a little bit slow to react. I'd, I'd say we're doing a good couple of hundred watts to maybe 250, 300 watts. Um, uh, I haven't gone for the full 400 watts. Um, just I'm doing a video and I, I didn't want it peaking over 400 watts. So I'll, I'll, I'll have people on my back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, you're coming through fine now. Well, hopefully still go ahead. I wish I had my clear speech on uh, at the moment. I, I tell you, that would really tidy things up. But you're right, the QSB is uh, the issue, but that's all right. Uh, thank you very much, VK4, Yankee, Juliet, Mike, 73s to you. Uh, look, at least to get to, uh, we got to get you on the video. So um, uh, I'll look you up on QRZ and I'll send you a link to have a look at the video. Uh, look, it's, you know, a little bit in the noise at the moment, but it's not your fault, just 10 metres. Oh, plus some of the noise is local here. I'm, I've got to work it out what that is. 73s, all the best. Oh, sorry, Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. The name is Brenton, Boston Radio Echo, November Tango, Oscar November uh, Brenton, and we're in Tangambalanga, uh, Northeast Victoria. Go ahead. Not a problem. Look, 73s, thank you very much. Appreciate the test. Uh, good on you. Uh, have a great uh, Easter Sunday too. <laughs> 73s. Well, you know what? That was great for him to come up. Um, just turn that down. A little bit of a difficult contact, um, uh, you know, as far as uh, noise. And um, uh, look, uh, there was a slight sort of warble in his signal now. Um, I'm running a lot of noise blanker level at the moment. Um, you know, it could have been me causing that, so don't um, uh, I don't want that to reflect on the station. Anyway, this is um, the HL 1.5 KFX, great little amplifier. I um, well, most people know I've got a few amplifiers here. Um, you know, we've got a few Acoms, Kenwoods, Yasus, um, huh, oh, and a million other brands of you know smaller amplifiers. Um, and one of my Deepest regrets was selling the last 1.5 KFX I had. I, I really shouldn't have done it. Um, not sure even why I did. So even though I can't tell you 100% where this is going to end up and what radio, um, I probably won't stay in this shack here. Um, we'll probably put, I've got another ACOM sitting over there and the far edge over there. It'll probably come back into this spot. 
um, but um, uh, in this shack we're just running out of room it's I mean, there's another Acom there the 2000 um, they're a beauty because of the um, I love those panels on those things they're very very nice um, and of course um, uh, the HF auto tuner I've actually got a spare one of those now um, so um, you know they're great for a couple of kilowatts easy um, and um, you know of course uh, they suit these amps um, just you know no question that uh, this amp can't even touch one of those tuners um, so uh, um, certainly um, I'll probably hang on to that I wouldn't mind if you if by the way if you've got a matching tuner lying around and it's not you know seventeen hundred dollars or something the last one I got offered was a little bit up there um, don't get me wrong you know sort of they are getting hard to find but uh, uh, there is a limit to my finance, trust me. Um, and uh, you know, sort of. Uh, but look, this uh, amplifier, these didn't. This didn't cost a lot of money. It wasn't too bad. Um, so, it'd be nice to get the matching tuner at some stage. But beggars can't be choosers. We'll have to use the HF Auto for now. And uh, <laughs> you know, sort of, uh, that'll be a bit of fun. Anyway, that's just a, a bit of a test of the HL 1.5 KFX uh, matched up with the uh, 490. Um, I love the band switching on it. Uh, it really does work well. Uh, and uh, certainly uh, a nice uh, nice amplifier um, for something just as a backup that we you know we'll just keep it here as a bit of a backup for uh, for when I blow something else up I'm sure <laughs> all right 73 is to you thanks very much for having a look at the video please subscribe and um, we're getting up there in the subscribers it actually is not doing too bad I look I'm not a big one for you know getting massive loads of subscribers but um, YouTube sent me a thing the other day that said if I can get to a thousand, um, you know, sort of, uh, they might actually they upgrade my status. I don't know what that means, though. You know, I don't think it means, by the way, they send me massive checks like you know some of the big YouTube channels. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice, eh? <laughs> How to make money while you're in the coronavirus uh, uh, situation, working ham radio? <laughs> I don't think so. All right, seventy three guys, and yeah, once again, please subscribe. Um, really do appreciate the guys that hit the subscribe button because. Uh, Gives me a chance to, you know, see your comments as well, get back to you and chat to you about different things. Always happy to, you know, talk uh, all things amateur radio. It's uh, really all things radio. 7.3 is VK3CM. Cheers.